Well, actually, this this is this is fascinating. I wonder if there's not effectively a budget for um, discordant interactions. And, you know, if we go back to what we were Definitely. speaking about it at the beginning of the conversation, the fact that um, not only do Heather and I have a great relationship, but we also speak the same language scientifically. So, you know, it's a kind of across the board um, sounding board and uh, ability to you know, I feel no vulnerability there because there's no place where our world views aren't compatible. And, uh, you know, I could say similar things about, uh, about Eric. So what that means is that my budget for discordant interaction is probably larger when I get to the outside world. Um, because I haven't spent it at home or in the context of family or friends. And, well, and you know, you spend it. It is definitely a budgetary phenomenon. You spend like you produce a unit of psychophysiological preparation for every unit of uncertainty. And the, the size of that unit of expenditure varies with your trait neuroticism. Because that's like evolution's guess at how dangerous the environment would be. It varies with your position in this in the in the in the social hierarchy, because if you're at the top where you're protected, the consequence of an error is attenuated compared to what it would be at the bottom, and that's why social position modulates serotonergic output. So the higher you are in the hierarchy, the more serotonin dampens your negative emotion to uncertain events. And that's in keeping with your with your actual fragility. Neuroticism determines it. Social hierarchy determines it. Intelligence determines it to some degree because you're a more effective problem solver if you have a high IQ. So, but you do pay for uncertainty because if something's uncertain, you don't know what to do, and so you have to prepare to do everything, and that's unbelievably costly psychophysiologically. It ramps your cortisol production up, and it it starts to eat away from future reserves. It's definitely a budgetary process. So. Yep. Um, all right. So I want to I, I want to see if there's something more um, with respect to this model in which for people whose developmental environment has been uh, Internet first and who have wrongly encoded the lesson that my identity is mine to define, and that those who would challenge it are enemies, rather than people doing me a favor of giving me information I don't have about myself. They are enemies to be challenged and driven out. Um, then this interfaces with those of us for whom the internet is not our primary uh, developmental experience, 